Nick. You going crazy? I'm a real young legend, I wanted to graze. Ain't happen overnight, it took lots of patience. Been grinding for years, I did no waiting. At this point, I'm on star, but they might well fade. They ain't gotta give me shit, I came in to take it. I'm a six figure nigga, little baby. I ain't base, got a closet full of demons. I'm fighting with Satan when I'm out there, Waukesha. I move like the mace. I've been running up, baby, they been running their mouth. I done run up another catch. Not... Trap stories. Episode three. It's been a pause, man. Why have we been waiting for this third one? You had something going on. Yeah, I mean, you know, life. It happens. We back. We serious. We got four cameras rolling at the same time. We got our guest, Aaron. What's going on with you, man? Tell us a little bit about yourself, because you and Trap, you guys already know each other. This is Trap. What's what's like the synopsis, man? What have you been going through in your life that's been major, you know? I think the biggest obstacle is just being the underdog. Like, people count me out whatever I do. I'm going to go hard, and I'm going to be the underdog. I'm going to sit back and execute. 100%. But I feel that pressure that I be trying to overcome. It don't be about nothing else, because the work be easy. I still be motivated. When you say underdog, you, what, you think people don't believe in you? People don't believe yeah. you. Show them. You're going to have to show them and show them. And you can tell them, but it ain't going to hold no weight, dog. I heard the best revenge is success. Not even reaching out to the people anymore, just showing that you're winning. That's, that's it. a fact. So, Aaron, I mean, what you what you got going on right now? What are you working on right now? I'm in a different vibe right now. Box truck up and going. OK. I get that, everything else on pause. You be an independent driver? Or how's you gonna start your own trucking business? What you thinking yeah, about that? I probably won't drive it, but I have somebody driving. Yeah, probably. yeah, 100%. Yeah, for sure. Get them to do the work for you. So you're just an investor at this point. Yeah, I'm putting on autopilot and let it work for itself. I love that, man. You gotta figure out a way how to make money and not have to invest all your time into it. You're gonna be the one doing everything. Hey, bro, no cap. I tell people this all the time. This is even with music, YouTube. Bro, if you ain't really got like no solid team, I don't care what you're doing. You might make some noise, but it ain't gonna work out. But it's just like with the music. I be telling people all the time, like, I dropped the ball with it. Cause I was trying to do everything by myself. Like it's not gonna work like that. You brought up a good point. You're not doing music no more. Yeah, I'm done with it. You're done with it. When did you decide that? I'm a YouTuber, bro. You're a YouTuber now. Hey, I don't know why. I love saying that, though. You're a YouTuber. Yeah. You feel like I'm a little YouTuber. kid achieved his dream, yeah, I'm, huh? I'm a YouTuber, man. <laughs> like, and when I be in the ball, people be like, bro, what you been cut? I be like, bro, I'm just a YouTuber, bro. So what, what kind of YouTube videos you want to come out with, man? What you going to be doing? You might get some car content. Got you. Some vlog. Finally get some use out of that wide body you just bought, you know? I just need to learn how to change the color while I'm editing so it don't be the real color of the car. You're not even a rapper no more. You're a videographer over here now. Yeah. He's talking to me about cameras, asking me camera questions. That's a fact, bro. <laughs> you evolved into something different, man. Cause, like, all right, boom. The rap be cool, but it be dangerous, too. When I was just like a regular street, like, bro, I was still staying in Fox Fly. I started rapping, I couldn't. Because it's people that know you that you don't know know you. Yeah, get out of there as soon as I people heard about have, you. I ain't gonna cry. I used to have like a hundred in that bitch under the dresser. But the sure stayed right next door to me, so I felt like I was secure. Yeah? Yeah, I used to love that shit. I ain't gonna lie. I felt like she was my security, bro. <laughs> a nigga I ain't thinking about running in the crib and the police right next door, you feel me? Like, it just ain't happening, bro. Like, did y'all, wait, did y'all grow up together? Nah, 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 nah. How long I been knowing you, bro? Five years now. Motivated me, man. He just showed me the thing that shit was different that I know niggas like to stand on and they can't do. That's the really shit I done seen that make me be like, damn, boy, I can do that. Mm. And open my mind up. Hey, bro, that's all it takes is really? one person, though, bro. Cause... And not even got to hate on nobody because with motivation, gonna motivate you. We started this podcast talking about trap stories, right? You serious, man. Is there any crazy scenarios that you used to be in that you went through? I think the crazy shit I done did was give my loyalty to niggas that ain't deserve it. I'm yeah, that's honey. a fact. And I feel it though back. I feel it back more than they feel even to the day. Man, it's still spit on my name today. That's the really shit I can get somebody. You gotta wake up and see it. Everybody do not deserve your loyalty at what time? You waste time with these people. They go on to the next clip. They like prostitutes. Bro, or when you genuinely trying to help somebody out and they using you. Like, bro, I'm trying to help you. Why are you using me, bro? Like, I be doing it like street business. In the streets, I'm good. I don't want to know nobody else. But business, I'm trying to bro, show this to some millionaires. But in the streets, I'm good, bro. Because, bro, everybody got a motive in the streets. Like, they might have done heard, oh, like, oh, bro, eating. Boy, I need to get around him. Uh, bro, uh, a person to stay around you for a year or two before they take you off. Right, they won't even take you off right then. They'll wait a whole year to then take you off. Like, Looking for your weed. I be trying to stay in the highs, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I be telling people, I be like, bro, this is a YouTuber now, bro. I don't want no smoke, man. A lot of that shit in the streets ain't worth it. It really ain't. But we all chasing the reward. You want to 
look good, you want to drive nice cars. But I know a lot of people when that dope click, when they lock your ass in there, everybody tough to that dope click. They break right there. Hey, boy, that time slow down, it seems like the clock stopped moving. Don't move, you ain't got no bond money, can't pay fits. So you've been locked up before then, correct? But like, what does that look like? How long were you locked up? Incarcerated two times, but it ain't never been nothing. Long time, probably a little kindergarten time, what they call it. But any time away from the streets, bro, I mean, your family, bro, is a long time. That's a fact. I, I'm probably did 16 months, one bid. That's some baby time to people. The next bid, they want, you know, bid, I did 12 days waiting on a bond. Because I don't know how to sit. We gonna make bond. Yeah, that's a fact. But when you ain't got no choice to do something, what you gonna do but submit? What's the main thing on your mind? Is it family when you were in there? Yeah, for sure. You know, all the everything else go on pause. Don't even matter no more. Hey, that's so Just the kids. You feel your kids. When you know you about to go to jail, the first thing you think about is your kids. Your kids. I remember okay, that man. night that we got in that little high speed chase. That's the first thing I thought about when they when they caught me and slammed me. It was like, <laughs> damn, my daughter. The oh. first thing that pop in your head is your kids. It's like, bro, that should be crazy. Was that that situation bro? where you ran around the front of the car and you hit yourself yeah. with the car? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Hey, Quisha, when you see this, I want you to know you the reason why I got caught. <laughs> Quisha called my name and then slammed the door. So when she called my name, I stopped running, bro. When I looked, but I, he was on my ass, boy. Hey, yeah, that, bro, Officer Furl. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> on yeah. my ass. So you know so you know all the officers' names that, that got you, basically? Shit, I remember that slam. <laughs> Shit, I remember that slam. I ain't gonna lie to you. But when it comes to the money, right? Cause bro, I always tell people this. I treat a hundred dollars like a thousand. I treat a thousand like ten thousand. Cause bro, I hate spending money. So I can spend a hundred dollars, bro, in my heart and soul. It feel like I done spent yeah. a band. Like I got to get this back. You don't think about it at the time, but afterwards, do you be thinking about it? Like damn, boy. Every time. <sighs> Every time. Hey, well, maybe sometimes you want to go return it. You be like, but well, yeah. I can't do it. Well, I can't let nobody see me returning this shit. I could have, <laughs> I could have bought a hundred other things with it. <laughs> hey, boy. Oh, I, why do you go buy the things though? And that's sometimes what I reflect on. And I'm trying to keep up, take over. And some people will do it and put themselves in a hole that they don't even know they can't do themselves out of. I done did it. I done been broke trying to buy this jewelry, buy this watch, buy this car. And I didn't get out the hole though, cause I hustle hard. But everybody don't know how to do it back then though. That's a fact. They, and they, it'll just show like I see people buy all the Jordans, but they can't get in the living room with forty dollars. And I'd be fact. like, what's going wrong with you? Got on Dior, and you need me to pay your way. Hey man, hey bro, they be wearing, <laughs> they be wearing replicas now, bro. Yeah, they got them fake clothes. They be wearing so, replicas. So. They got a whole like they got companies that just make straight designer replicas, Jordan replicas. Palm sweat. Angels. I see the sweatsuits, the, the purple ones. Seen somebody with it ain't even in the store. Wouldn't you rather someone spend less money on some cheap shit than than the real deal? I'm saying it depends on the person. Like me, yeah. bro. If I can't afford the real shit, I ain't gonna wear the fake shit. I don't want to look like I got money. I want to actually have money. Mm -hmm. Like, I want to actually be able to chill. Like, I was just telling my people this, right? I don't, like, some people be content. I don't want to have to wake up, do the same shit, and then my kids ask me for some shoes I can't buy. Like, I don't want to be one of them people that just work, pay my bills, and I'm back broke. Like, mm. that's dead. Like, that's being content. And then they don't be wanting to do nothing else. Like, brother, oh, my bills paid, my kids said I'm good, bro. You don't want more out of life? Because mm. I want more out of shit. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. What do you want? What do you want that you don't have? Billions. <laughs> bro, I ain't, bro, no cap. I, sometimes I can't go to sleep for thinking about money, bro. I stay up all night thinking about money because, bro, I feel like it's never enough. Some people be like, you know how people use that term? Like, bro, you got enough money. Like, bro, you never got enough money. Like, you ain't never got enough. I think that's dangerous, though, man, because it's like, you know, once you hit that goal, like, let's say the goal is 100000 Once you hit it, you're immediately going to move it. You're like, oh, 200000 I need 200000 Yeah, that's a fair. Um, I ain't a hundred, bro. Me, I feel like a hundred. When I got my first hundred, I thought I was pop as shit. I, I thought I was the richest man in the city, but that shit had me feeling invincible. Like, bro, when that shit happened up the highway, I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to run up a hundred. I'm, I'm out. But then I got the hundred. I'm like, man, this ain't shit. I done had this shit before. Like, I, before. Like, I done had this, bro. Like a hundred thousand, but and in today's society, a hundred thousand, not a lot of money. Not with inflation, not like, with everything going it's on. Not a lot of money. You need probably like half a million to buy a house today, man. Bro, <laughs> bro, I could have a quarter put up and I still be feeling broke. Man, hey, bro, so look, but bro, what you feel like the dumbest thing is you ever bought? What you feel like the dumbest thing is? Cause I don't know, I don't bought some dumb shit. 
I can look in your this jewelry, the clothes, the persona. Cause I know at the end of the day it ain't who I am. That's a thousand other people and what they like to chase. I buy this shit just to fit in. But I don't even like this shit. Hey bro, look. What on my soul? It's crazy, bro. You can ask baby Jesus, right? Bro, I ain't wore the I ain't no I still works. So I got it from when I bought it. I ain't bought no designer since 2019, bro. You been putting that shit these up. These pants, gas. I paid 125 for these, bro. I paid 125 for the pants, 130 for the shoes. That's not designer prices, though. Bro, it's not designer, period. Yeah. Like this ain't the, these are regular jeans, bro. Like you trying to get sponsored by them? Man, they need to, cause this all in my closet. <laughs> well, don't say their name until you until like, you get bro, sponsored, these, bro. All, all, these the only type of jeans I got in my closet, bro. Like I've just felt like. Buying, bro, like just like bro said, I used to buy that shit just because I was rapping and oh, other rappers had it. Boy, yeah. God, gotta get that. Man, half of that shit was ugly. Ugly, like up. bro. <laughs> and you would put it on like, like, but I thought I'd never buy no Yeezys, but I submitted. Like, bro, I submitted. I, mean, like, <laughs> like, fuck, bro, like, I just spent all this money, and I, when I look in the mirror, I don't like ugly it. This bitch. Like, but when other people see it and they see the name, they like, oh yeah, that's hard. But when I look in the mirror, I'm like, bro, I don't like this shit, bro. Like, you don't let the brand names get to you. Nah, like it be five letters. It costs four fifty. Yeah, five like, letters like, on it though. Jack. I need a few more letters than that. Yeah, it's been plain. I'm it's, telling you, bro. It's the name. Like, it's what they like. Yeah. And that's all it be, bitch. All like. Right. Man, if I can pull out in a scat or whatever, they're going to be like, oh, you got a scat, I want one. Get one because you want one. Don't get it because I fact. got one. That's don't a chase fact. One. A lot of people chasing other people's dreams. That's a fact, and they don't even bro. know that once that person got it, they don't even like it. Yeah, I'm ten, 10 in the hole. Boy, I could have right. bought a lot of them up shit. I got kids. I ain't telling you, bro. Like, you, this, you stuck with it. Now what you going to do? Like, bro. Like, <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> you hit now. Bro, look, right? Well, after you bought it, right? Cause I know after I bought my watch, I'm like, damn, bro. Like I just spent all this money, money on this little watch. ass shit. Yeah. Like, this shit small. I just spent all this money on this shit, bro. Like, but see, bro, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna keep that shit a hundred. I was just telling noise, like, bro, I don't, I only be buying jewelry from jewels I got relationships with. So, for instance, it took like, what? I forgot how long it took for my watch to get made, bro. I got a relationship with you. How much money I need to bring you for you to start? I'm not about to spend all this at once. I got it. I can. I can spend it. But, bro, a lot of people just be going to the jewel and spending all. A nigga might go spend fifty thousand at one time just so he can make an Instagram post with it, bro. Yeah, I ain't like, going like that. Now Instagram posts ain't bringing in fifty thousand. Like, nah, yeah, sure. Like, bro, I broke my watch up in payments. Like, I'm like, bro, by the time you finish with it, you paid. gonna be paid. Yeah. Like point blank, you gonna be paid. But I'm not about to just give you. What I pay for this motherfucker? I paid twenty six five for this. I'm not about to. This is cash after. <laughs> My car ain't even worth twenty six five. I didn't pay I for that. I look for. I know that. And, and you want to know the crazy shit, bro? I don't even want it no more. That's how it be, bitch, like, though. But I don't even want it. it no more, bro. Next time, just rent one. Just get one. Man. You can rent real quick. You stuck with it? I'm trying should... to tell people. I, I ain't gonna. I want AP now. I want to go AP now. As soon as you get it, be like, man, I don't want this AP. I feel like AP, my, uh, bro, I'm, I'm going to let you know. The day that you going to know, like, oh, yeah, boy, he got some money, boy. When you see me with a skeleton AP, mm. you gonna, yeah, boy, yeah, he done made it. Until then, I am <laughs> broke. Like, I'm good. Like, mm. But, bro, and, but, hey, you know, gold done went up. Gold, I was at the gym the other day. She told me gold, like, 2,000 an ounce now, bro. Like Would you buy some gold or some silver just to have? Man, um, I don't know. Imagine, imagine for some reason the dollar ain't worth shit no more. You got the whole stash out. Hey, ain't it's worth crazy it no you more. say that, right? Because, bro, I just got, I got some money sitting, and I think about this shit every day. Like, what if I wake up tomorrow and this shit ain't worth nothing? I'm really broke. Yeah. Like, I'm really broke as shit. Like, all you got is your skills, man. That's why, bro. I need, like, I gotta get back on my business, shit. I know you say you want to start so many things at one time, but that might be that might be too much. That might be your downfall. Hey, some man. gonna fail, some might. Yeah, but I think you should focus on one, dog. Hey, Pick everything one. a lesson and a blessing, man. You That's know? true. That's true. For real, for real. So what's the best thing y'all bought, though? You know, and this might be a trick question, right? Because you might be like, oh, this thing I bought for my kid and I saw them happy. That was like the best thing I bought. It's like $5, you know, but like, do y'all have anything that you're like, yeah, I'm glad I bought that. Or, I'm glad I invested in that. I know you talk. I know you talked about the box car and the box truck. Yeah, I done bought my baby mama a car. I done 
Oh, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. I don't really know. I, best thing I bought. I don't feel like I got it yet, cause I, don't, I ain't done yet. Yeah, that's a fact. I, I ain't done yet, so I, it's like putting a limit on it if I do it that way. That's a fact. I know a lot of that shit feel like I wasted. Mm. Like he told me once before, like bro, woo woo woo. I, I ain't understand it. What do you mean? Like slow down? You slow down? You feel like you gotta slow down? No, I'm telling this you. This year go by fast, cause we in the second quarter right now. It's still people sitting on the bench. I'm I'm th- I'm plotting really the second quarter in. going to the third. They ain't ready for this shit, man. Hey, bro, so look, when you bought, let me ask you this, because I know some people be thinking different, right? So, bro, when you bought your baby mama in that car and y'all got the order, had you ever brought it up? Like, bro, bring me my car. Like, that's me. I need that back. Nah, I let them put that in their name from the jump, because I know I wouldn't do that. That's her that's shit. That's a fact. I'm about to probably, yeah, that's, that's her fact. shit for sure. I don't want it back. Yeah, that's a fact. That's why you got it that way, though. But I know. Y'all don't feel mad like, damn, why about this bitch's car? A lot of times, but shit. I'm not no Uber, though. I ain't picking you up, though. Yeah, that's so a fact. people got to get older and know if I got to pick you up, you in trouble. Yeah, that's dead, bro. Yeah, you duct tape. Because if you can't afford an Uber and get to me, shit. Yeah, that's dead. Yeah, you're a duct tape, Jack. I now, shit. I don't bought her some more shit. I don't bought her shoes because they get mad. I done seen her take 25 shoes to Goodwill. New oh, joy and give them to him. She mad, cat. Yeah, that's These crazy. real J's, these ain't the fake ones. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hot, you hear me? I ain't gonna lie to you. Shout out to whoever got them shoes they good with, cause she, hey, yeah, they good she turned well. them bitches in. Yeah, so somebody yeah. got some good shoes and good with. Oh, yeah. And she did it just to hurt me, though. Oh. Yeah, she did that shit to hurt me. It wasn't about nothing else. Wow. Yeah, her shoes, I don't give a fuck, but I paid for them bitches, so. Yeah. 200 times 20, 225, you do the math, Jack, yeah, and you figure yeah, it that's out. that's a fact. That's another way. <laughs> Shit. Hey, bro, I ain't gonna count, bro. I love getting hurt, right? It made me grind harder. Shit, like, sure. when, bro, when I'm hurting or going through something, bro, I'm turnt. Like, I'm about to make so much money, bro. Like, that's why a lot of times, bro, I, I know some people that be setting themselves up to get hurt just yeah. so they can get back in that hustling mood. Oh. Like, you got to, bro, because sometimes people don't know how to stay in that mood unless they got something going on to motivate them to be in that mood. That'd be so distracted. I think it's a, I think it's a really good way. I think, I think that's really smart because, you know, as a, I mean, you can call it what you want, you know, entrepreneur or whatever. You use what you got. So if you got pain, you best believe you're going to use it. You know what I mean? Um, so I think you hit it on the head with that one, man. People that look at people like us don't know we used to sleep on the fucking floor. I ain't used to have no bed, no mattress. I had covers. A lot of y'all shit came fan. from pain, man. This is never came, know where we fan. coming from. Yeah, they just think we good. Our bills get paid automatic or something. Yeah. That's what had me confused with some people how they talk. Yeah, that, uh, bro, they don't know fan. the sacrifices we make. Bro, I be telling a lot of people. I be having to tell my cousin this, bro. Like I say, bro, you can see I can count two hundred thousand in front of you, but that don't mean I got no money to spare yeah. to give you. Like, bro, I've got something planned with this money, bro. Like, I can't kill my plans to make... Bro, I'm glad I just said that because a lot of people want you to hurt yourself to make them happy. I can't do that. And you love them to death. Like, but I if they love themselves, they'll be making other ways to pop instead of you using you as a crutch, taking you down slowly. Because, shit, this 200 this week, this 200 this week, this 200 this week, this 200. God damn, I don't dare you 800. Up. That's 800 in a month. I got 11 more months. You coming back another 100. Hey, you becoming a bitch. Put you on my taxes. You a pass a bitch. That's how everybody be. Bro, that's why I be telling niggas, like, bro, grind, hustle. Because, bro, I can't do it for you. I got to do it for me and my kids. I can't do it for you. Like, I can't be. But, like, even me and you, though, like, you pay me a lot of money, but I'm not just coming and taking and leaving. Like, I'm doing what I can. I'm I'm giving it as much as I can. That's different, though. Yeah. These people want want $300 for their transmission or for their shit. Hey, bro, I love telling people no. I tell them. I no. love telling people no. Bro. You tell them no, you're gonna be their enemy, man. Cause bro, you tell everybody yeah every time, bro, you gonna look up and be broke. And the same person you kept telling yeah, there ain't gonna be nowhere to be found. He up now. Like and he ball. flexing on you now. Twenty ball. He turned. He t- hey, he talking shit about you now. Out the window. Like, bro. You fucking hood rich. You go hood rich. Shit. Like what? Like they got ten grand, they, they think they're hood rich. Like that's limited it. either way if you got a fifty ball, the fuck can you do with it? Exactly, yeah. bro. <laughs> that's what it was. Especially if it's all understand. cash. Like, do you even know how to use it? Do you even know what exactly. you're gonna do with it? That's what I be saying. People gotta. You can buy groceries, gas, and 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 what? Eat and fuck and buy some clothes and a car, man. all cash, and that's fucking it. Fucking car too. 
Other than that, you can't go buy no boxer up today. That's a fair, bro. <laughs> you think he can? Hold on, with what? Buy a box truck all cash? Shit, probably not. You put down 10%? Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. You can put it down. You put it down 10%. That's how you score on. That's a fact. See, hey, I'm glad you say that, time. right? Because I just had to explain to my people. He like, bro. He saw he saw my wife about it. He like, yeah, bro, I'm about to go get me some. But I'm going to pay cash. And I'm telling him, I'm like, bro, nah. Bro, use credit, bro. Take the rest of that money and invest in something else. Like, you ain't got to do that no more, bro. That, that was the dumbest shit I did, bought that, bought that scat cash. Like, bro. Then when you asked me with the biggest shit, that was it right there, bitch, <laughs> Bought that scat cash. Because when I did it, I'm like, damn, I could have dropped 10000 I could have got any type of car, though. You just drop a 10-piece, 15. You can have whatever you want, though. Damn. I ain't know no better than, though. Like, I, bro, that's a fact. Hood rich. Like, bro, <laughs> but can you my do? first one, I cashed out on my first one. Yeah. I kept saying, I said, boy, when I get my second one, I'm not cashing no. out. Like, <laughs> no. Yeah. I cashed out on the first one and kept it with a month or two and sold so it. Like, is. bro. <laughs> man. So, bro, I'm like, bro, I'll just make the payment and I needed it on my credit. Because, bro, I'm big on credit right now. Like, bro, I probably got like 10 credit cards. Like, bro, no bullshit. I got like 10 credit cards, bro. Some days I don't even come out the house with money. Hold them up to the mic. You. Goddamn, yeah, man. Yeah. So you can't, you can't exclude a real nigga from a video, bro. Hey, yeah, hey, you on the mic right now, bro. Like, I got you by the mic right now, and we, we live right now. Yeah, y'all already know what the fuck going on, man. Hey, free my you know, job, man. Real song, man. It's fact, real song, man. They ain't even got to say nothing else. So. Man, I'm glad you come through, Aaron. Appreciate everything you talked about today, man. Uh, you know, this 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 podcast is real laid back. It's really just a conversation. There's really no script or anything. That's why I ain't want the mics. Cause when you got the mics in front of you, it feel like you doing an interview. Yeah, feel like you gotta. That's why I be want like, and I'm like, nah, no mics, cause I want this shit to feel like it's just a conversation. Like you, bro, you chilling. We just kicking shit. Yeah. Tie gun. Now, bro, I'm a, I'm gonna tell you. I think I might get the cords. To go, okay. Yeah, I might do that. Well, yeah, we'll bro. Hey, trap store three. Trap store is episode three. Yeah, we in there. Let's go. Uh, we, hey, <laughs> we live. Hey, Nick, you going crazy? I'm a real young legend. I'm one of the greatest. Ain't happen overnight. It took lots of patience. Been grinding for years. I did no waiting. At this point, I'm on stop, but they might was fake. They ain't gotta give me shit. I came in to take it. I'm a six figure nigga, little baby. I ain't base. Got a closet full of demons. I'm fighting with Satan. When I'm out there, Waukesha, I move like the mace. I've been running up, baby. They've been running.